of those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home, We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Okay, slippers it is. What do you think? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. Just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Uh, Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Never mind, I will stay right here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. We're not looking to run from anything. I mean, we have to, we might, but... We're here to face it all. To see what we're really made of. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Got a bunch of pups you might like, too. 
Slayer, if you're ready, I am too. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Team, say hi. <laughs> you're just a big sweetheart. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary back there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. If I can handle things out here, I'll be fine for what's back in the city. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey team, I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chopper. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there. But you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You'd just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. I don't know what's gonna be out there. I know what I've read and what's likely to happen. But if the past few years have taught me anything, it's that I can only plan to be surprised. Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. This is going so well. well we've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Yeah, I think he'll be a great addition to the team. Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. We'll live a life that's not wasteful. We'll be in control of everything and only take what we need when we need it. We'll keep your belly from grumbling and you can help carry us all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new. Become someone new. I feel like I'll like Wilderness Me. She believes in herself. At least, she does right now. And I believe in you, Bodega. That's why you're part of the team. I 
think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like, but it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Slayer, Finn, Bodega, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail, but I'm gonna have to cook that. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay. Well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, let's go. Breathe, and pull the trigger. Ah! I hit it! And it's still fine. Great. You will hit this caribou. You will kill this caribou. Yes! We did it! Food is ours! <laughs> We're pretty good at this. I worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. Another meal ready to go. We've got one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. Let's go, Chopper.
Finn, what do you think? What is that? Oh, hello. Okay, on my call, you're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold, hold. Okay, go! Sheesh, y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Huh, I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. You all look very full. Thanks for waiting, pups. Let's go, Chomper. Let's rest. We, uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Ready for pets, Barkley? It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. I already like you. Let's just take it slow and we'll find ways to show we trust one another. Maybe we should eat. Would be nice. Okay, just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. I'm ready to cook some food. Food time! Chow down, pups. Food time! Chow down, pups! I take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. Pets, pets, pets! This is gonna be good for us. Get back on the trail. All right, let's mush on. Now out here, we don't say ha for left, and G for right. So, let's go. G! Birch grouping. I 
need you to start fire. Let's get back to it. I'm back. This virtual really... Let's get back out there. Let's look for a good spot to camp. It's far away, but it's here. What should we do? Just have to, you know, adjust for wind, distance, that, uh, physics arcing thing. What was that? A parabola? Is that right? Come on, back to present. Okay, it's just a little further away. Time to take our chance. I mean, we didn't really have a choice. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> We're out of bullets. Let's be safe out there. Should we camp? Oh, great. A squirrel. Please don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. See? He's just living his life. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. Chomper, you, on the other hand, seem very perturbed. Is this your nemesis? Wait, did it just wink? Oh. Oh no. Well, uh, Chomper! You downed it in one gulp! Okay, fine. I'm proud of you. Now let's take that full belly back. Thanks for waiting, pups. I think we're done here. Let's go. This is when we whisper, right? <sighs> Perfect. Hmm, you're just having a snack. Huh. I wish I could eat brush. At least bushes don't need bullets. Okay, I'm back. Let's get back out there. Should we camp? This is exactly what we need. Leave it. Let's go. It's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Hey, little bunny. All right, Chomper. On my call, you get to... All right, leave it, Chomper. All right, let's go. I'm back. I think we're done here. Let's go. Now what? Ha! Huh. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. 
you know, just make it past some more trees, and snow, probably some more snow, and then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. Chomper, you've truly unlocked your play drive. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. And we probably don't need any more bullets. I mean, somebody hid bullets out here, right? And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're... I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher. Like, a real one. I think Margo would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Oh, now what? friend. It's okay. You can stay over there. We don't mind. Mush, mush! <laughs> Barkley! We've got to do something. Just stay back, Barkley. It's okay. We've got this. We did it. Are you okay, buddy? He got you pretty good. Belly rubs first. I'm not hurting you, right, bud? You did good, Barkley. Really good. You should think about trying to scare things away before you have to use your teeth sometime. You're pretty intimidating. But let's get back to the sled, okay? I need to try to heal you up. Okay, get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Let's be safe out there. I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so sure. Wolves are following us around. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually... For you. We'll prove we can handle anything. Look at what we've already done. So many tree stumps over there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. I am just going to, uh, take this. It opens locks, strips bark, hits things. The first and best multi-tool. I really should have packed an axe instead of waiting to get one at the cabin. It's far more useful with me than not. Oh well, I've got one now. Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. That's so much easier. Looks like we're done. Hey, pups. We can start a fire at camp now. Let's be safe out there. Work on the road, or two. Ha! 
Hmm. I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. Ah! Ah. A nightmare. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eye. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? It's okay. They were just nightmares. It's not gonna happen to us. Nightmare reminded me to pack our axe to strip those birch trees. It's a good thing we have an overactive imagination. We know what we're up against. Well, we can imagine what we're up against. Huh, chomps. 